I'm very excited because the highly anticipated new update is 6 days away. The first update that I like most is the blessing system. Thank you Moontun for bringing it back but there's only 2 max limit for blessings for fairness sake. 2 blessing is max so players can't abuse the system with this unlimited blessing into 7 or more heroes and that will frustrate your enemies but I really hope Moontun will change it to unlimited blessing to see who's the luckiest player in the game. Double blessing is also allowed here so you can have 2 blessings in 1 hero it's rare but it makes your hero so overpowered in games my advice is use re a third so you can have triple blessing in 1 game you can easily achieve 666 synergy with this new system. The second update that I like is they released new commander Zilong it only has 1 skill instead of 3 conventional 3 skills it's called great dragon spirits passive is 10% chance of launching to extra attack on each basic attack. You can purchase up to 4 effects from the shop to enhance the great dragon this are all the passive you can get in the game frost dragon and flame dragon dragon revival golden clutch you can pause the video and read this amazing abilities the third update that i'm excited about is the new synergy called inferno fiend its effect is like northern veil vale, but with steroids all inferno fiend heroes will gain 100 percent of mana at the start of the round the first new inferno fiend hero is tamu's in the past it's five cost hero now it's only three cost but it's still one of the scariest hero cause of the skill called cotter and inferno it will grant him 100 percent attack speed and 50 percent physical attack the second one is kufra remember when he is only two cost now it's three the bouncing ball is so tanky and it can deal magic damage the third inferno hero is tigreal it's four cost now the ultimate is called implosion he will charge toward the area with the most enemies and stunning them for two seconds the fourth hero is Gord no need to introduce him but he's the strongest 5 cost now because he is like Ultra Instinct Goku wherever you are the Kamehameha will find your ass. The fourth update that I love is that Moontun really prioritized buffing Liamord I don't know why he got so many op buff this new patch and the old patch he got 50% attack speed in horse mode now he got 70% attack speed with 120% attack boost. Weapon Master got buffed also from 90% lifesteal into 110% lifesteal the new update is gonna be the Weapon Master era the Astro era is ended cause of the nerf that's been made in the past and new update goodbye astro and the last update is the commander buffed and nerfed the strongest commander in the new update will be brown because moontun buffed its second skill called blazing hammer enemies will be immediately execute when the enemy reach 5% from 3% it's gonna be huge especially for assassins and astro bus third is also buffed from 18 cooldown to only 17 cooldown Veil vale 2nd got nerfed so hard especially the updraft from 6 seconds cooldown to 10 seconds cooldown now and also Yuki 3rd got nerfed from 35% power gain to only 30% now. Moontun also create new 2 chessboard it's called Astro Playroom it's so dreamy vibe and I really love this new chessboard the other one is called Beach Lounge I definitely gonna buy it next update cause it's such a summer vibe for me and I really like this.
no brains. Marvin Devine. Uh, I'm saying bye to all the lies and all the times you cried. Saying that I wasn't right, Jared, I was right by your side. You manipulate a playing games, your friends commentators. And I don't know what you say about our private conversations, but it's got them hating things to all the rumors. You be claiming it's cool, I'm done with you, so they can throw you a celebration. You gon' hate it when you see me with somebody that doesn't matter. I'm trying to tell you that me just do it, me gon' have you jealous. Uh. Does perfect even mean? 